Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add and use a stencil in Substance Painter 2.5.3. So this is what it looks like right when you open it up. Um, let's create a new project by doing Control N. I'm going to select a mesh that I have. This is what I use for testing materials on. Make it 2K and then click OK. So now this will appear for me. Um, yeah, so make sure you also have your UVs um, unfolded. If you're a beginner, you probably don't know, really know what this means, but basically, for example, this table that I have, let's say I select that, I already actually unfolded this, but you, what we'll do is you can hold down, right-click on there, shell, oops, copy all of that, polygons, and then unfold, and it will unfold. Mine's already unfolded, so it didn't change really much, but yeah, that's what you can do. So I'm going to go back into Substance Painter here, and we need to get a stencil. We can either use one of their ready-made ones, or we can make our own. So I typed in AppleLogo.png, and I'm going to copy this and make a 800 by 800 file. I'm going to paste this in, uh, in a new layer because my program is weird. And um, let's see, so we have our Apple logo here. For some reason, it does not like the color oops, black in Substance Painter, so for, I don't know why, it just like, when, with your stencils it won't work. So what we'll do actually is we'll, we're going to invert this, so I'm going to make that white and that all black, and then I'm going to save this as a PNG, I'm going to call it, I don't know, tut, for tutorial, and fly it, and whatever. So then we're going to go into here, file. Um, import resources. We can add a resource. Uh, go to wherever you saved yours. I saved mine to Jazz Blues and NPR News. I'm going to get what I called it. I called it Tut. So there it is. Uh, we can. This is an optional thing, so I can type in Keck, for example. Um, we can make this texture, and I'll show. I'll show what this means in a second. And import. So basically, we can either find this. Okay, gosh. okay, so now we have this here, and if we want to put it onto here, we have to go to our brushes. Make sure you have default hard on. You don't want, like, leather. You want, uh, where is it? Default hard, because then it paints this. You'll see why it's nice. And um, so here, in this menu right here, we will go to stencil and click this, and we will find whatever we have. So, see, this is how the, the prefix works. I can either type in tut. Or I can type in Keck and see how it still appears. So I can get this, and now we have this lovely Apple logo, and we can we can start painting it on. Or, oops, we can make something actually even cooler, which I think is cool. But before we do all this, actually, I'm going to just add this so you can see it better. So now that we got that gold there, so I'm gonna go back to brushes, default hard. Uh, go back to in this layer. So. We can actually, in, by, you, we can engrave this into this metal by going to height and then making this a lot smaller. So like, negative 5, 0.5 I mean. This will engrave it or this will make it like, you know, on top. So I'll do that and I'm not going to add any of, of that shenanigan. And we can kind of see how, uh, kind of like that. And we can paint it. It doesn't paint the black as you can see because Substance Painter does not like the color black. I don't know why, but it just won't do the black with your stencil. So there. There is my apple, and then I can get out of here. I don't know. I'm going to, like, click this, and, oops, the balance stick started doing the top and the bottom accidentally. But, as you can see, we now have stenciled the apple logo. And it's actually engraved. I think that I engraved it. Yeah, you can't really see it well, because I guess I probably chose a bad material to do it. But it really is inside, like with the bump. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe.